This is a CT Naturalist Pathways to Pollinators special. We have a nice patch of milkweed growing in the backyard and every day we are going to investigate the milkweed because there are so many insects and such a diversity of life that you could come and look at this milkweed every day and find something new. Now just to give you an idea of how small the monarch egg is when it first is uh, deposited, there's my finger and that white dot right there is the monarch egg. And when this first hatches, the first instar of the caterpillar is so small, it's nearly invisible. Right there, that's instar one, right next to my finger. I'm going to slowly zoom in, and we're not using our macro lens, but we'll get as close as we can. And you will see that little caterpillar right there doesn't even have its real stripes yet. That was the, whoops, that's the first phase of uh, the monarch development. So in star two will be when the caterpillar starts to get those little horns and its famous stripes. All right, now this monarch caterpillar is a little larger. You can see that it's already started to eat this leaf. You'll see those chew marks there. And George is going to point his finger next to the caterpillar right now so you get an idea of the size of the scale of that caterpillar. So what are we up to? Number 21 now. And look, I just moved the camera over here. and There's another monarch right there, another yes. caterpillar. So really, this is, I've never seen anything like this in all my years of videography, the amount of caterpillars on one patch of milkweed. You'll notice this caterpillar just hatched out of that little white egg as we speak. Um, I'm going to put my finger there. So very shortly, the caterpillar's first source of food is the eggshell. It will turn around and begin eating that egg casing for some early nutrients. Today we found about like 15 caterpillars and every day I, I go outside and sit by the milkweed and draw what, all the animals and pl new plants that we find. So this is George's pictorial nature journal and as you can see he's recorded the caterpillars that we found today. So we will be seeing what else we can discover. CT Naturalist TV, Pathway for Pollinators, signing off.